so hello beautiful ones this is a bit of an unusual recording I'm actually catching my image on the camera the camera is so sensitive to the frequency uh, of the camera in my laptop which is filming me you know you know that the the uh, cameras in the laptops that they're, they're filming you you know because the you know the intelligence networks are using it as a, a way of observing you and seeing what you're doing what you're up to etc etc well, my camera is picking up the frequency of the filming of my laptop. I'm filming my laptop, and uh, what I've got there <laughs> is um, me on camera. Uh, it's a blank screen, right? I'm filming a blank screen. There's nothing on the screen. There's absolutely nothing on the screen on my laptop. It's just like I've got it opened up on uh, one of those video playing screens, and it's just... A blank screen and my camera is filming me and you know the camera on my laptop is filming me but the camera I'm filming my laptop with the frequency is marrying in together and it's actually putting a, an image onto my little tiny window here on my um, on the camera here you know uh, and I can see myself in my camera but there's nothing on the screen that I'm filming so here I am, I'm appearing on the, the laptop camera that ASIO and all the agencies, CIA and all those uh, Mossad and all the networks uh, use to film you through your laptop. And uh, it, it quite often occurs with me actually. Um, not always. Uh, it's like when they're observing you, when they want to have a look at you and when they want to record because the recordings are going straight into ASIO and uh, into you know what we call uh, the networks of intelligence you know the one world order you know they're here to observe you and to control you and they want to know you know especially if you're some kind of a threat you know if you say a word like bomb <laughs> or plastic explosives or C4 or terrorist or uh, hijack or any any of the code words that trigger any of the code words that actually trigger their surveillance mechanisms you know because they constantly record every uh, telephone call they constantly record uh, all faxes, uh, all texting, um, different kinds of communication is constantly recorded and it goes into archives and they have uh, voice analysis and uh, kind of analysis you know, for um, observing the structure of your face or who's there. They, they've got body recognition signature uh, equipment and facial recognition equipment and voice recognition equipment. and. You know, they can actually know you by your genetic resonance as well through satellite and things like that. And so the surveillance on this world is, is quite intense and quite, uh, well, it's very high technology. And it's in the hands of the one world order. It's in the hands of those people, you know, who are, are constantly surveilling you and controlling you. And uh, they want to get the, the dirt on you. They want to get the info on you. They want to know who's where and everything else because they're very fearful people. They're very frightened people. For example, um, you know, like these naked body, body scanners that they're constantly uh, using in, in the airports around the world now. Uh, you go through and you get radiated about 5,000 times the radiation, uh, that of an x-ray. And it actually is destroying you, but it can search out your genitals. And it can see uh, every part of your body as if you're naked. You know, well, the people that they employ in the airports uh, to operate these machines, they they select them through you know a selective process to actually see what their psychological match would be. You know, they ask them questions, and they they generally sex fiends, um, perverts, pedophiles, homosexuals, and sexually oriented people who would not um, you know control freaks who would not um, balk at the idea of groping somebody's genitals and doing a body search and actually doing rectal uh, you know kind of um, searches and all that kind of thing and they actually get great satisfaction out of observing and pervertedly looking at the women who come through you know like they all gather around the monitor of the naked body scanner and they see the outline and shape of the oh, oh, every very very clear you know because they focus those machines to actually see the folds of the woman's anatomy and the very clear, you know, penetration of the of the um, body form, you know, because it's like a one of those kind of technologies that actually scans you, you know, you know, uh, sort of like um, nanotechnologies, filming and frequency that outlines your body and records it on a camera, and and they hone the cameras in, 
and when they can sort of see uh, very, very clearly the genetic structure, you know, or the genitals, the genitalia uh, of the people, they know they've got the machine in focus and they gather around it like, you know, like perverts. And, uh, you know, they're having their kicks by um, oppressing other people, you know, and, and they don't really realize that they have been selected because they are perverts and because they are able to wield authority, you know, big, uh, you know, muscly guys and, you know, they're sort of like, they don't know English very well, they can't read or write properly. They've been trained to do certain um, functions in reading and writing, but basically they're unintelligent, sort of base, animalistic kind of people, you know, that are used for these things. Same with the military, same with the police, same with uh, every kind of structure of the one world government. People are screened, you know, like, I mean, for example, the army, you know, when they screen people for the army, you know, one of the questions, you know, they put you through a questionnaire, uh, would you be prepared to kill a man, you know? And years ago, it was like, not many people would say that. They said, no, I couldn't do that. Now, because of all the things on the TV and all the programming of the games and the war games of, you know, these kids playing in the parlors with these um, kill, shoot, destroy, blast up, you know, most people now would say, yes, I'd kill someone else because, uh, you know, their mind's been conditioned to that. And they screen these people, you know, would you do that? Would you take orders? Would you follow orders? Would you do what you're told, you know? And of course, they screen these people for these jobs. And that's why the One World Order is using uh, these degenerate people. And they're lovely people in a lot of other ways, but they just have a predisposition to uh, come under the, under the control system and the mechanisms of... Uh, the agendas of the one world order that is here to actually totally annihilate the population. Well, not totally. You know, they, they want to reduce the world population down by 95%. They want to bring the population down, uh, you know, through using drugs and vaccines and pharmaceuticals and poisons and toxins, chemtrails, you know, fluoridation in the water, education, you know, they, they dumb people down by the education system and the, the syllabus that they, they run, you know, the curriculum that they're running through the education programs is training people to fall in line with the thinking of the one world order, you know, uh, to report on your brother and to, to learn certain structures of consciousness that would align them futuristically uh, with uh, the domination agenda with it, where that they, they will be very, very willing servants, drones, slaves, you know, working, working in a mundane job, just reporting their brothers, uh, sisters, and, and dobbing them in, you know, kind of thing. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of technology that's been used here, the mind control technology that's been developed, you know, since about, well, the 1900s really onward, you know, through the First and Second World War and onward and through many, many schools of thought that are using manipulation uh, through media and through different kind of uh, constructs of education, universities, all universities are tainted with the same brush, you know. They're out there to uh, find their own power to control others to get an income, you know, and that's the whole problem in this world. Everybody here is actually making an income out of killing other people or putting systems in place that are constraining us you know, all the infrastructure that's being put in place to constrain us and control us, making legislations and passing codes and regulations to uh, entrap the people, that people would, uh, you know, fall into that system where they're going to be extracted of energy, you know, you've got to pay a fine because you went down the road the wrong way or you didn't put your hand out or you dropped litter or something, you know, you're going to be fined. And all of these systems that are being uh, concentrated and brought back into a, a very fast enclosing net of constraint to control the people. Well, of course, it's all because, you know, to generate fear uh, of authority. You know, they put themselves in a, a sort of a, a position of authority. They've got no authority anyway. They're very, very fearful people. You know, they are, uh, well, they're control freaks, and but they do use force and they have used you know, some form of cleverness over the generations to slowly build up an arsenal, you know, slowly build up forces like the police force, the police force. What are they there for? To, to run a business, to bring money in to the bankers so the bankers can employ more people in their structure so that, you know, they can continuously uh, tighten the snare and tighten the grip on the people, you know. It's like um, all of us here are employed uh, by the money system and the money system is what extracts energy. The whole system is set up to, to cause you to uh, fear those who are in authority. <laughs> but you're under no authority but God's. You know, you're not under the authority of dead men. You're not under the authority of dead men. And, and so you see people complying, you know. I was in the court a few months ago and the judge was up there and uh, all, all, all of the solicitors there, you know, the, the barristers and, uh, you know, 
the lawyers or whatever they are, trying to defend somebody. The judge is there with, with his big dominant stance, you know, and he's saying, look, there goes a box over that side. If you don't, you know, do what you're told, you'll be in there and the police will arrest you and they'll throw you in jail. Now you're here in my court, you know, and the, and the solicitors are saying, oh, yes, sir, yes, Your Honour, yes, Your Honour, yes, Your Honour. And the, and the solicitors are trying to get the best appeal for, you know, for the people who are, you know, there as their defendants or whatever. And, um, you know, the people are being raped continuously. Money extraction, it's just a big business, you know. And of course, everything in this world is just a big business. And uh, this whole world, you know, they're extracting energy through, you know, fear, through controls, uh, through laws that they create and enforce through, you know, they enforce it through threat of death, you know. You, you're going to pay to the last farthing, you know, unless, you, you, you know, unless you pay, you, you're going to be in prison. And, and we're making an industry out of prison as well. You know, because it's just becoming like a prison state. It's becoming like a uh, police state. It's becoming like a military takeover. You know, you look at every world um, nation here where the war is taking place. It's an invasion, you know, by the United Nations uh, to bring an implementation of their corruption and run corruption programs right through those nations to extract their wealth, to extract their resources, to, to put the people in fear, to put control on the people so that there'll be um, subservience. There would be obedience to the controllers, you know, and all the time these controllers are very fearful creatures, you know, that they, they, they've got no power at all. But we give them power because they have slowly, you know, encapsulated us over generations. But uh, it's, it's amazing, you know, when you think what's happening in the world and no one knows about it. You want to search out a few of those um, alternative news broadcasts on the Internet. And uh, realize that everything you see on the TV, everything you see in the media, everything you see without exception is, is, is all uh, a cover story to cover up the agendas of the intruder race lines that are operating through the human genome and uh, they're running their agendas through humans who uh, want to live and support themselves, you know, by the sweat of the brow, by the sweat of the brow, you know, people need to live, put food in their body. They don't know the technology of living without, you know, that survival, um, you know, feeling, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm alone, I've got a sense of lack, you know. Uh, so they all fall into the into the trap of working for somebody else who controls them and feeds them. You know the hand that feeds you. Well, you don't need the hand that feeds you. Uh, you you can make up your own mind. You're a th you're a free thinker. You know you're a free thinker. And uh, people in this world hate free thinkers because they want to control you and they want to extract your energy. But uh, the moment that you realise that you can be a free thinker and do the technologies, you know, on my website. Uh, www.twominesonechoice.com you know you go there and you're going to find that there's a technology web page where you can find uh, the techniques to regenerate your mind and come out of the controls of the black hole harnessing system you know come out of the controls of the black hole harnessing system you know uh, these intruder race lines that operate through the human hologram to run their agendas through us and we're working for them you know, we're all working for the black hole technology and it's extracting energy into a parallel matrix and they're ripping us off through time rip technology and they're siphoning our energy down there and they're living off us. We are their food. We're their food. And you're running their agendas, you know. You've got to find out how you can, you know, um, work out the genetic restructuring of your body to uh, have the eternal life flows of your original creative blueprint for life uh, where you don't need to uh, partake of the, the energy of the outer realms but you can actually find the internal flows of life within you and uh, you can overcome the world of corruption and controls of dead men they're all dead men uh, everyone who's running your program they are voices from the past that work through your templates and they're remotely controlled through alien technologies and intervention within the structure of your anatomy and uh, you don't know that so you're willingly complying to them, you know. And so I'm just here to say twominesonechoice.com. Go there, have a look, find the technology that you can resurrect from the dead and overcome death in the body and find the living light flows of regeneration within your own structure because uh, everything in this world here is fastly collapsing, very fast. And it's, it's compacting and it's all the, the enmeshment and uh, the contractual arrangements are becoming such a tight bind on us that we won't be able to breathe or move or do anything. See, because... ASIO is filming this now, you know, and uh, all of the uh, inter interconnecting links of uh, intelligence in the world are using kind of technology today to hold us against our will, you know, but uh, we must rise up and uh, find our true strength and power. I sign off now. I love you. We love you. We bless you. Awaken. Awaken.